Hello. Welcome to the IRA Club Self-Directed IRA Fundamental Series. This webinar is the, the, discusses selecting the right type of self-directed IRA for your needs. Did you know that there are two types of self-directed IRA accounts? And selecting the right type can significantly improve your investment results. The two basic types of self-directed IRA accounts that we'll discuss are the custodial self-directed IRA account and the checkbook self-directed IRA account. The checkbook self-directed IRA account is sometimes called an IRA LLC. Now most IRA companies offer just one type and they'll tell you that their type is always the best for everyone's needs. The IRA Club is one of the few companies that offers both types of self-directed IRA and will fit your needs exactly. Now the good news is selecting the right type of IRA is very easy once you have some basic facts. <clears throat> My name is Dennis Blitz. I'm president of the IRA Club. And after today's webinar, if you would like additional information regarding self-directed IRAs, just contact our office. It's toll-free, 888-795-7950. Now, the most important thing that we're going to start with is the fact that one type of IRA is not better than any other type. They simply serve different investing needs. And you want to get the type that aligns with your investing needs so you have the best opportunity for success. Let's start talking about the custodial self-directed IRA first. Now, these accounts are very good and they're best used for small, low activity, IRA accounts. Let's understand how the funds in a self and probably in a custodial account move. Every movement of funds in or out of that account must be preceded by a formal request form from you accompanied by supporting documents. Each request is then reviewed. Now these reviews take time and can cause delays. Sometimes that's meaningful and sometimes that's not a problem. Next, how does a custodial self-directed IRA compute their fees? Well, fundamentally there's two ways. Some companies base the fee on the number of assets in the custodial account. In other words, the cost will increase each time you add a new asset. Or other companies will base their fee on the dollar value of the account. Hence, every time your account grows in value, your fees will increase. So who would use a custodial self-directed IRA account? And these are generally going to be used by people who do not expect their IRA to increase much in value uh, based on the number of assets or the dollar value of that account. A very common example would be one-time lenders. At our office, we'll get calls frequently from someone who says, I want to loan some money out of an IRA to this person that I know or to a business that I know of. Uh, they're going to pay interest and then pay, pay back the loan. Uh, that kind of transaction is very, very common. Uh, it's a very low activity transaction. In other words, the IRA is going to literally write one check to the borrower and then sit back and collect interest and and getting back the principal. Frequently after the loan is paid off, the person simply closes the IRA account and moves on. And so a basic, very simple account that won't have that much of a change in value or that much of a change in the number of assets, the custodial account is going to work very nicely. The checkbook self-directed IRA account is for a different type of investor. And they're best used for the more active IRA account. And this is generally the real estate investor and the tax lien investor. It's best used for IRA owners who plan to have a long-term program of growth for their IRA. With a checkbook IRA or IRA LLC, the, an IRA LLC is established. The IRA LLC will open a checking account at a local bank that's local to you and then you will hold the only checkbook. 
by you holding the checkbook, we're going to completely eliminate delays. There won't be any delays each time your IRA makes an investment. Again, you'll have the checkbook. There won't be delays when your IRA has to pay bills, as it will with real estate. Maybe there's water bills, property taxes, maintenance. There won't be any delays when your IRA collects uh, income. Quite often that's rent. In addition, by you holding the checkbook, you eliminate transaction fees. You know, a checkbook IRA does not count the number of assets when computing your cost. So as your number of assets increases, the cost of the IRA does not go up. And in many cases, a checkbook IRA does not uh, have a fee that increases based on the size of your account. So as your account grows, there is no increase in fee. So in summary, for the low activity account, the custodial act IRA is going to be a good value. For the more active account, the checkbook IRA is going to be a good value. Typically, an IRA LLC, or in other words, checkbook IRA, costs more to establish, but much less to maintain. So if you expect to have your IRA for several years and you expect it to grow, you may want to consider a checkbook IRA. If you'd like more information from the IRA Club about checkbook IRAs and how they can work for you, the IRA Club offers a 35-minute webinar on this topic. We'll be happy to send you a recording of that webinar that gives you a lot more detail about how checkbook IRAs work and whether it's going to fit your needs. Just call us up. Our number is, again, toll-free, 888 795 7950. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.